Today we're going to do a lab called the specific heat of a metal. We're actually going to determine the specific heat experimentally of two different metals. I will start now by taking the first metal and weighing it. And now I will place the metal in the boiling water. And now we're going to mask the coffee cup colorimeter. Now we will add 50 mils of water. to the coffee cup colorimeter and we will proceed to weigh it once again with the water in it. Now that we have masked the coffee cup colorimeter and the water, we're going to hook up the temperature probe and go link to the um, laptop. I hook up the temperature probe to the go link and then I use the USB connection to hook up the uh, go link to the laptop. We're going to open up Logger Pro. And as you can see down on the lower left hand corner, the Logger Pro has already recognized the fact that we have a uh, temperature probe hooked up plus, you know, the that it has been recognized because the, the light has gone from red to green on the go link. And using the instructions that are in the procedure, we're just going to set up Logger Pro for this experiment. And as the procedure indicates, first we go to experiment, then we go to data collection, and we set up the mode uh, as um, of, collect, of data collection is time-based, it's already there, uh, but we have to indicate that we're going to record for 300 seconds, and we're going to record one sample, one data point every five seconds. And with this we're, d we're done. Then we're going to double click on the temperature column and we're going to indicate that we want a precision of two. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So now I will put the temperature probe into the colorimeter, coffee cup colorimeter, and I will start collecting data. And the first set of data will be the temperature of the water inside the colorimeter. I will wait for the temperature to settle down to a steady value. And now I will remove the metal from the boiling water, shake as much water off as I can, place it into the uh, coffee cup colorimeter, and I will start stirring and the temperature now of the water is increasing and I'll keep stirring until eventually it levels off to a, a steady value of temperature. Well, the temperature now has been dropping for a while. Your uh, maximum was reached, so I will end the uh, measurement of the temperature at this point. Okay, so now we need to mess the second metal. Essentially, we need to repeat the same process that we've done for the first one. We will add 50 mils of water to the coffee cup colorimeter. We're going to mess the uh, cup and water again for the second metal. I do not need to mess the empty dry cup because I already have done that. 
Okay, so now I already have Logger Pro set up, ready to go. And I will put the metal in the boiling water and wait for five minutes. Okay, so now that the metal has been in the water for boiling water for at least five minutes, we're going to start collecting data. And we'll start once again by measuring, taking measurements of the initial water temperature inside the calorimeter. And I will wait to add the metal once I have a steady temperature being recorded of the water in the calorimeter. Okay, looks at, like I have a steady temperature. So now I will pull the second metal out, shake as much water off it as I can, and I'll make sure that when I put it in, I knock the metal over so that it's fully submerged in the water. In other words, none of the metal is above the water line. And I'll start recording temperature, as I've done before. And I will keep recording temperature till, till I see that I have a, a steady value. And also, um, I would prefer, if possible, to see the value of the temperature drop. Well, the temperature now has uh, been dropping for a while. In other words, I'm past the highest peak. And so I'm going to add the collection of the data. Now it is your job to um, access the logger pro files available to you and collect the necessary data. A after you have done that, um, you can use the data to do the necessary calculation, uh, calculations and turn in your report.